Hey, you, I wanted to talk to you about this uh, TPA uh, that in many states it's now going away. And I had an inquiry on my channel um, for somebody who felt like, well, I took the alternative route to education. Should I get to my ed TPA anyway? Because it's disappearing in my state, but I'm worried that, you know, I won't be a full teacher. Well, you should know that an alternative route to education or any education certification is uh, as valid as any other. There's usually a requirement for you to complete a mentoring program in your state. And once you've done that and you're fully certified, if the EdTPA has gone away, it's not going to affect you later. And in fact, if it were to be brought back, so for instance, right now they're getting rid of the EdTPA in all the states because, as you know, there's a teacher shortage. And the EdTPA um, is quite a hurdle for people to jump. There's not a lot of good evidence that it picks good teachers from poor teachers. Um, doesn't necessarily show if somebody's classroom ready or not. And after all, that's what the mentoring program is about. So if you are in a state that has now made the EdTP, EdTPA go away recently, you are not going to be required to have that. Once you're through your mentoring program, you're going to be grandfathered in. And so even if the EdTPA or some other form was brought back, you would be fine. You're under the wire. So it's against my own content to say this, but I think in the long run, this is a trend that we're going to see. So in the other reason for you, though, to pay attention to this is if there's a possibility that you might work in a different straight state where the EdTPA is still in place, and I think this tends to be more of the Midwest than the coastal states, but you can check the EdTPA website for accuracy on that, then for you, it might be a good idea to have that under your belt if you know that you could be moving sometime soon. It's not guaranteed that the EdTPA will go away from all states, and if you want to have it because your likelihood of moving in multiple states is a possibility, even if the current state that you're in is not requiring it, that's something for you to consider. So good luck. I hope this helps with your decision making about whether or not to take the TPA at this point.